Time for sound design. In this video, I will sample the drum root impact analog drum machine again and try to create a sound from it. And this time I'm going to use the metronome sound. So I already recorded that into Ableton and it sounds like this. There's a very short little sound and I'm going to duplicate this. And the first thing I'm going to do is pitch it down an octave or two. Let's see how it sounds. Maybe pitch it down two octaves. Yeah, that's better. And then I'm going to freeze it and flatten it. And now drop this into Simpler. So opening Simpler. Let's adjust the start and end points. So when I play a C on the keyboard, it's actually an A, so let's pitch this up. Let's put in some effects to create a bit of a um, longer sound. We have stereo spread and filter the wet signal. A bit of reverb. Maybe wait. Wait with the reverb. Um, first some distortion. And perhaps create some noise to this sound. And another delay after that. So delay two, and then maybe this one should be... So another delay. So with one delay it sounds like this. This could work. Uh, let's put in some notes into the clip to create a rhythm. Take that second delay off and try it again. So instead of the second delay, because it doesn't really work with the rhythm, I'm going to add a LFO to modulate the gain of the overdrive to create some variation, basically. Maybe do it in one half bars and do like 50%, minimum 10.
All right, so that's it for this sound design session. So I started with the metronome sound from the analog um, drum machine, the drum brute impact from Arturia. And then I recorded it into Ableton and it sounds like this. There's a very short snappy sound. I pitch it down two octaves, it sounds like that, then freezed it and then put it into simpler and put a bunch of effects on it. So first a distortion with an LFO that modulates the um, gain, then a delay, erosion to add some noise and a chorus. And I adjusted the envelope of the simpler, so the decay a bit longer, the sustain all the way down and the release at 500. And then created this rhythm. So it's in three different octaves, it's a C. So the next thing I'll do is group all these devices together and save it as an instrument rack. Drum Brute Metronome. And I uh, will also export this loop as an audio loop so I can use it uh, whenever I make a new track. All right, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments and see you in the next one.